So what's up, girl? It's your girl, my wing. Here at my treasure box. About to do my next 72 hours for my fire signs. So my Aries, my Leos, my Sagittarius, y'all know. Bring that ass on here. Start with my Aries now. See what we got going on these next 72. Now these next 72 that's going to carry us on over to Monday. So my Aries. If you play numbers, you play the number 664 or 6640, your choice. But a lot of y'all are moving on from a relationship, and it could have been with another fire sign. Um, whoever this person is, they probably, you, you went through a lot of, you experienced a lot of emotional um, conflicts with this person. And basically, you know, the glass is half full. It's not half empty because the the way and the things that this person did or the way they made you feel, it made you love yourself even more. And that's that was the whole point and purpose of having karmic soul ties or soul connections. This person is probably like a little aggressive. They may be the type that they are they are a loving person. They're full of love, full of passion. So that, that love and passion can go one way or the other. You're going to be loving or you could be mad, mean, fierce. But anyways, let's see what we got going on. Like I said, it came to an ending. And you walked away from this person. You walked away from them. You bounced up on them. You're on your element now. You had, you know, you had that awakening from the universe, that spiritual awakening. You know, it was like it was one of those moments, one of those aha moments. They could be a Sagittarius because it's someone from your past that want to come back around and reconcile things with you. They want to balance it out. It's like they was waiting on you to come back, but he didn't come back. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn as well. I see a lot of fire, so I see a lot of like Leo, Sagittarius. Basically, but Aries. So, anyways, either you moved away to focus on your money, or they moved away for a job. But somebody moved away. It was after it came to it. That's probably why it came to an end because they end up moving away. Either you walked away, but when you walked away, you focus on yourself and on your money. Judgment kicked in, and you realize they were taught. So you could some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. But the world is at the world is your oyster and is at your hand because whoever this person is, you're tired of going through conflicts with this person you don't took all you could take from this damn person and this a wrap this person one minute they're look one minute they're spiritual the next minute they're grimy then they're a gangster then they're smart they just all over the place and it's like you pretty much had to go inside yourself to see what you really want it could be a taurus or a gemini but it's someone else that's coming back around that want this happiness with you Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Anyways, you're trying to focus in. That this person has been trying to focus and get everything situated, but this person realized that you are their person. Whoever they walked away from you for, they don't want that person. They they feel like they like stuck in the rut. This person wants to marry you. They coming back around with a proposal. Look, look, look at you. That empress, they're coming back around, and it all happened because this person had you up in your mind more than anything. But you know, you thought things was gonna work out, and then when you say, "Okay, well, maybe not," then they'll they'll come in with communication. Oh, um, well, you know, such and such and such and such. And listen, they probably came off of the brand new couple. Of, Let's just start all over, and like a fool, you took that leap of faith. But guess what? The same way you took that leap of faith is the same way you, you, you came back off of that leap of faith. So it is what it is. So the next 72, my Aries, there you guys go. So now it's time for Leo's. See what my Leo's got going on for these next 72 hours. I tell you what. Life. So my Leo's. Rejoice, celebration. Some of y'all may go, be going out, getting ready to go out, dancing, partying, shaking the tail, feather. But it's like, even in the darkness, you can still see the light, can't you? It's coming around. It's coming about. And a lot of y'all solar places is, is being charged up. Your solar places is just, um, your solar places is your third chakra. It's, it's, it lines up right above your belly button. It's, 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 let me see what's the word I'm looking for. It's energized by the sun. 
put it like that. But yeah, I see a lot of little celebration. Maybe some of y'all getting ready to go to a party. Maybe some of you guys going to a baby shower somewhere. But some a celebration coming up. You've been through whatever you're going to go through these next 72 hours. This was going on. Now, you got your guards up, but you're humble. So, you know, you know how to stay at bay until it's needed to unleash the beast. So, you got somebody you were dealing with. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries because it's a little fire sign here. Could be a Scorpio. Whoever this person is that you were dealing with, they were toxic. They were toxic. The connection was toxic. It could have just been like a, a fatal, not a fatal, but just a sexual attraction. It's toxic either way it go. It could be obsessions with it. They could be obsessing over you. You could be obsessing over them. Somebody's being watched. Either you watching them or they're watching you. It could be a little bit of both. But we finna get some justice coming back around on a new authority, right? You took that leap of faith because you realized you loving them. And trying to love yourself, that shit was just not fucking working. And this is the person that you wanted. This person like a wish come true, a dream come true for you. But this person was not giving you the energy that you needed back. They, it was like they were not. They, they were kinetic energy wasn't working between the two of y'all. Like what you giving off, that's that's not what was coming back to you. I don't know what was going on with that part right there. But anyways, you left the ass. You damn sure did. Could have been a Scorpio. You left them. Because you was in search of new love and you found new love on the new management. Because guess what? You learn to love your damn self. A lot of y'all got brand new beginnings coming too. Whoever this person is, they want to come back around and offer you this cup of love. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with. But this person wants to, or a Pisces, this person wants to come back around and reconcile. Because whoever they walked away from you for, that's not who they want, what they want. Or anything else. But they realized they had that epiphany. You are their soulmate. This is a twin flame. So whoever they were dealing with, it came to an ending. It came to an ending before they had any, any before they could even recognize it. Guess what? The person they was dealing with, after, after, after they broke your heart and you walked away from the shit, it killed you to walk away from them, but you had to do what you had to do. You got tired of putting up their bullshit. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, like I said. And they, this is a person like, okay, you're just hired. I'm tired. I ain't dealing with this shit no more. If you can't give me what I need, then that means we shouldn't be together. I'm going about my business. Trying to they tried to manifest something. They thought, look, they thought because it, it glittered, it was gold. They didn't know everything stank ain't dead either. Because this new person that they walked off to, this person, listen, this person don't even know how to talk to them. Probably make them feel like they're damn like a piece of shit. And they're like, damn, I really fucked up. I went from sugar to shit. That's what happens sometimes, y'all. Y'all have to realize that that grass ain't green on the other side, but it's all good, though. It's all good, and it's all love. So there you go, my Leo. So here go my Sagittarius. These next 72 hours. So my Sagittarius, material prosperity, spiritual prosperity is coming in. If you're working on yourself, you're doing the inside work, it's coming. It is coming around. It's called the law of attraction. You are attracting it to you. If you play number 644, Put them for you to play. But you finna realize what energy is. You finna realize what a prodigal shift is. You're gonna it's it's like it, your intuition is finna be point on, spot on. And you from like, damn, it's gonna come so fast so you ain't gonna know what hit you. Because you out of the way from a situation too, and, and that's and you realize like you, you made the wrong choice. Judgment kicking in. First card, judgment. So it's somebody that y'all dealing with that y'all didn't see their worth and their value in the beginning. Y'all probably moved away from this person, but now y'all want to come back around. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries could be a Pisces. You're dealing with Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Y'all had an epiphany because I see the high priestess. So that epiphany, they got the initials of the letters J, B, S, T, or the letter R is in their name. You seen the things that you wasn't seeing before that was hidden. So you saw the person that you, you saw you made the wrong choice. Oh God, that ain't listen. That's real. It's understood. You can't explain that. Pretty much, Sagittarius just showing up in your reading because you want to reconcile with this person, but you're thinking about it. You're taking your time about it, and you stuck. You want a brand new beginning, this person, and whatever happened, y'all probably had a little heated discussion, and somebody want to come back and apologize because whatever was said, that person walked off from you, or you walked off from that person, and they just trying to get themselves balanced. They want a happily ever after, so do you. 
you're noticing that this person may be getting a lot of attention from someone. And it's like, you want to apologize, but you don't know if they'll accept it, if they'll listen to you, because you don't want to be rejected. But it's okay, though, because sometimes people don't like to be rejected. You can do the rejection, but you don't like to be rejected. Believe it or not, it killed this person more to walk away from you than anything. They focus, their, they turn their focus inwards on themselves. Somebody from the past want to come back around. So it's either you realize that you and this person had a past life connection, more than one. But you realizing that this was your person, this is your soulmate, this is a twin flame. Because you want to come back around and offer this person a real cup of love. But you don't know how they're going to take it. And it's like this right here. After you've been stuck in wrong decisions, they've been stuck in wrong decisions. You don't boss up and turn into the emperor. And you realize this was, can't nobody outdo this person. I see some communication coming in real soon. I still have some communication before the end of the week. Whether you're doing communicating, they're doing communicating, y'all just communicate with one another. But some communication is coming in. Choice is going to have to be made. So y'all know what I mean by that. So anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. How do you like the neighborhood so far? If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, um, leave me a message. I respond to the messages. All the information will be in the description box below. Um, what else? I think that's it right now, y'all. Y'all see, I was being good, y'all. I see, I was being good on this one, y'all. I be trying to be good sometimes, y'all. Know, I don't know how long this I can hold this Toretti and it's gonna burst. It's just waiting to fucking burst out. I've been holding it in. But anyways, listen, it's done on the rejects. Y'all already know we coming, so hey. <laughs> they say what's real is understood. You can't explain it, so why try, right?